Hey guys, Jam here and welcome back to another video. And in this video we'll be going over the Tome Keepers. They're basically the 90s teenage girl of Space Marines. They all carry little diaries and books with them all the time, hence the whole Tome Keeper part. But to be perfectly honest, there's not much I know about this chapter. They're, they're pretty new, I think they're just a homebrew chapter that somebody came up with and GW kind of ran with it, so... They've got a pretty cool aesthetic, you know, they got some decent lore that I do know about, so I thought I'd just do a little conversion of them. Now there's two places I had to start with this. One is look at the official artwork of this chapter, and like I said, they're, they're not super different to any other Space Marines, they don't have crazy things going on, they've just got books, really. Which would bring me to the second thing is, well, if you want to do this army, you probably want to get some books. So I'm sure there's quite a few GW kits that have books in them. I don't know if there's any third party or printing ways you can get books. I don't really know, but this particular book I'm going to be using is... I don't actually remember where this is from. It's probably from some sort of chaplain kit. But yeah, you're definitely going to want a book or two if you're doing this army. Or if maybe just a dude for a death watch or something like that. And like I said before, go through the artwork and stuff. Now these official models that GW put up in their White Dwarf at some point... As you can see, one of the guys here has an axe, which is pretty unique for Primaris HQs in general, apart from the one Space Wolf guy that came out a while ago. So I thought, you know what, that's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for books and axes, you know, there's, there's a, everything a grown boy needs right there. So as you can see, I'm using a Blade Guard veteran body, so this guy can work as a Blade Guard or a Lieutenant or whatever you want to do with him. Obviously the axe will have to get proxied as a sword or something, but nobody will care about that. So the first thing I do is I stick the book down where I want it to go. With this particular easy build model, there was a little hole on his hip where normally you'd have a sword. So I thought that's a pretty good place just to cover that gap up. And it just happened to fit pretty perfectly there. Now for this particular model, I won't, won't be changing the shield arm at all. So the only thing I have done is I've sliced the built-in shoulder pad off because obviously as I always do my conversions are going to be death watch because one day I'm going to have one massive death watch army of all my conversions but you don't need to do this you can just get transfers now for the next step and probably the most important part is the weapon arm now I kind of just imagined him just kind of leaning on his weapon like he's just placing it down on the ground resting on the axe or something like that so I needed an arm that was stretched outwards. So I got this arm, I think it's from the Blade Guard Veterans Kit. Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to sl gently slice the hand out of it that's currently in there. And once you do have that nicely sliced out there, just as always be careful with your hobby knife. I'm just going to make sure it's all nice and smooth and flush. So this hand that we're going to use now can glue into that. Now I believe this hand is from the normal Intercessors Kit. Pretty sure it is. I just cut that off of there before and I'm just gonna stick that on in a bit but first we want to get the axe ready to go because I want to make sure everything's in the right position and pose before I glue it all together so first up the axe I'm gonna use is this one from the Vanguard Veterans brew I believe not the most fantastic and awesome looking axe in the world but it was the right height and everything like that so what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna slice the hand off this grip because obviously I don't need that there. I'm just going to use my hobby clippers just to slice most of the main chunks out then I'm going to come in with my hobby knife and just smooth it, all, smooth it all off and just make it look slightly better but we will be covering this up with green stuff later because these guys are all kind of about books and stuff like that. Even though the artwork they don't have loads of purity seals I want to get a kind of wrap of purity seal wording kind of around the handle of this axe as well just add a bit more of that parchmenty vibe to it and once that's all ready i thought maybe the easiest way to make sure i get this all in place is i'm actually going to glue the hand onto the axe first make sure it's in the right kind of position that i need luckily it fit quite well there and all i did was i made sure the model was glued to the base and stuff like this i like to use plastic glue i mean i use plastic glue all the time anyway but at least with plastic glue you can move things around for like a minute or so before it really starts to set. So I just kind of wiggled the arm and the axe and stuff until I got it into the right spot. Now with m most of the main stuff done now, obviously I had to choose a head for this guy. And I wanted to go for something a bit more stern I guess. And the whole like book thing and protecting the books and writing things down. 
They seem like they might be quite serious people, so that's why I chose this head. Plus, the pose doesn't exactly look like a guy that's yelling out into battle. He's just kind of surveying the battlefield kind of thing. So other than this guy having a pretty cool pose, he's quite simple and he's going to remain simple to be perfectly honest, but I will be whipping out some green stuff. So as always, I just done a mix of yellow and blue, just a nice normal mix there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it out into a pretty long sausage, as I always do. Then you're going to get a wet paintbrush handle or a toothpick or something. Like once again, as always, always keep your tools wet while working with green stuff, at least damp. Then I'm going to lightly roll it over the sausages so it flattens out and it looks more like a bit of parchment. Now all I'm going to do is slowly and gently wrap this bit of green stuff around that bit on the handle where I cut the hand away. And then towards the end I'm just going to make sure the parchment looks like it's kind of blowing in the air. Just to give it a bit more movement. And once that is done, what I normally like to do with parchment and stuff like that, with green stuff, so I'll get my little hobby knife, you want something quite sharp. And I'm just going to add little like nicks and tears to the sides of the green stuff to make it look like the parchment's torn up a little bit. Just give it a bit more texture there. Something to paint and highlight really. Now the last thing I'm going to do is add some straps onto that book. So it kind of looks like he's carrying it over his shoulder. So it's a bit more secure there. It's not just hovering over on his hip. Now I'm going to do the same method as before, you know, rolling out the sausage, flattening it and stuff. The only difference is I'm not going to make any nicks and tears into the strap. But what I will do is to add a bit of a fold into it around the shoulder there to look like it's scrunching up a bit. Is I'll use a wet toothpick just to gently push in a line straight down the middle of the strap. Like I said, just to make it look like it's a bit tighter, maybe it's folding up a little bit. But with that, this model is done. Like I said, pretty simple, quick, easy. Just a little tip there if you want to do some Tome Keepers, how you can add a tiny bit of flavor to them. But with that said, all I'm going to do now is slap a very quick coat of paint on this guy just to bring him to life a bit for the video. Give you guys a quick showcase and I'll be back in a second. And there you have him, all his dear diary tome keeper glory. Kind of wonder what they write about on this stuff, you know, like, oh, uh, today I killed a tyranid or something like that. <laughs> I need to look at their lore a bit more. It's probably just like battle tactics stuff they figured out. I don't really know why I'm talking about this right now. I should just be doing the outro. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about this model. What do you think of the tome keepers in general? And yeah, as always, if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely click the like button, the subscribe, the bell, you know, the whole YouTube drill by now. And of course, I do have a Patreon, which I never really push recently because I haven't been like super on videos, but I'm trying to get more onto it now getting back into the swing of things. So I will say I do have a Patreon if you'd like to support the channel anyway. Any money made there will just, you know, help me improve the sound quality and all that kind of nonsense of this very professionally run channel. So once again, hope you enjoyed the video guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.